I wanted to do a different type of video today, giving my thoughts on the all new player market in NBA 2K24. My team, as you guys most likely know, there's a big debate going on Twitter. You know, is the player market a good thing, a bad thing? What are the good things about the player market? What are the bad things about it? Because I feel like there are some huge cons and some huge pros to the to the new player market in the game. So I wanted to make a separate video giving my thoughts after kind of we've seen how it's going to work at least so far. I still think we need to see how it progresses once we get a new tier, once we get some more amethyst cards, once we get eventually diamond cards on the auction, or sorry, not the auction house, I'm just so used to saying that on the player market, you know, what are those prices gonna look like? How much of the other cards prices drop? And the main thing I wanna talk about is the 60% tax. I'm not exactly sure what to call it. I'm just calling it tax and I'll talk about that more here in a second. To me, that is the biggest con and the biggest flaw I will say with the player market so before i hop into it and just talk about my thoughts and opinions because i know a lot of people have been asking me you know what i think about the player market is it a good thing or a bad thing but before we talk before we talk about it i want you guys to let me know so far from experience do you guys think it's a w or do you guys think it's an l and explain why if you want to right do you guys think it's a good thing a bad thing and just give me your thoughts on the all new player market so the first thing i want to talk about is going to be the prices i feel like that's the main thing people are talking about i don't think it's the worst thing now it's definitely pricey but that's not the biggest problem in my opinion i think the prices are obviously expensive 140,000 mt for an amethyst card 70k for a ruby is really expensive i think the sapphires and emeralds are fairly priced like 7k for an emerald is really not that bad um, especially if there's some pretty good budget emeralds and then i mean 17k almost for these sapphires might be a little bit expensive but once you go down to the series one uh series one sapphires like a Giannis or a curry or a lebron or a Kawhi or an anthony davis these cards are only going to cost you you know just over 11,000 mt so i feel like the sapphire emerald and gold prices really aren't that bad just so far i feel like the rubies are super overpriced i mean 70k for a ruby card is just a little bit pricey and then you also got 140,000 mt for an amethyst card but to me guys like i said i don't think that's the biggest issue with the player market like i said earlier i think the biggest problem is a 60 is the 60 percent tax or whatever you want to call it so how that works and i'll just quickly show you guys you know with a gold card for example right so if i go down to um i actually to make the math easier to show you guys that it is 60 percent i'll just buy a series one gold card i'll buy uh kobe brown right so i'm gonna buy kobe brown here for a thousand mt so, so let's say this is a ruby or this is a sapphire this is an amethyst card right let's say i try out kobe brown and i'm trying him out actually on my team and it's not just some you know it's not just some random gold card and i'm trying him out want to see how he is i try him out let's say he's a ruby card for example and i don't really like him and i want to go sell him back on the auction now so in previous 2ks let's say his price was still the same he's still selling for around a thousand mt maybe 900 maybe 1.1 on the previous auction house but now he's set at 1000 price right the 1000 mt but the problem is when i go to sell him i'm only going to be able to sell him for 400 mt which is a 60 percent again i'm not sure if it's a tax or i'm not sure if it's just a a sell difference fee whatever you want to call it but there's a 60 percent difference in the buy prices and the sell prices for certain for every card on the player market at least so far i'm really hoping they change it if any 2k devs are watching this or anybody that is associated with 2k i feel like that's the one thing really holding back from this game being a lot better is this 60 percent tax at least in regards to the player market once again i think the prices are expensive i definitely am not going to sit here and say the prices are good i think they should be dropped a little bit like i would say more 100 and 100 100 to 120 000 mt i think is more fair for talking about for an amethyst and then like 50 50k for i think for a ruby is solid like so maybe drop it about 40k for an amethyst and about 20k for a ruby card and i think those prices would be a lot more fair but like i said the biggest issue in my opinion is this 60 percent tax because if i want to go buy rip hamilton right i'm like oh let me try out this new rip hamilton card really want to see if he's good or not i try rip hamilton i play a couple games with them and then i'm like oh i don't really like rip hamilton i want to sell him back i can only sell a ruby card rip hamilton i bought him for 70k i can only sell him back for 28,000 mt that means i just lost 42,000 mt for just trying out a card and then trying to go back and sell him so to me like i said i think that's the biggest issue it should be a 10 to 20 percent tax rate i can understand 20 percent if that's how they want to do it 
that would be a ton better than 60%. I think 10% would be maybe not low, but I don't think 2K will ever go back to the 10% that they had on the previous auction house, but 20% and maybe lower the prices a little bit on cards. And I think you got a really good player market. I like that you can just buy cards, you know, right away. You don't have to go look for them on the auction house. You don't have to, you know, search for cards for more than 100,000 MT and then bid on them. But I think the player market does have some pros to it for sure. But I think the biggest cons are the prices being a little bit too expensive. I don't think they're as expensive as some people are saying they are because you do make tons of MT just from playing the game. But like I said, I think the prices should be lower. I'm not agreeing with the 140,000 and the 70K for an Amethyst and a Ruby, but I don't think it's that ridiculous for me. It's just that tax. So hopefully they lower the tax in the future. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the all new player market. Me, stance wise, I'm kind of in the middle. I see both sides of it. I see why people really like the player market and I see why people hate the player market. I'm kind of in the middle. I see the cons and I don't like the cons, like I said, with the tax and the prices. And I really wish the auction house was back kind of. But then I kind of like the new system with the player market in a sense, if they were to fix those problems with the prices being a little bit too expensive and mainly the tax being way, way too high for if you want to sell a card back. So let me know your guys thoughts on the player market. I know it's a little bit different type of a video. Let me know if you guys like seeing these. Sometimes I like to just hop on and just, you know, kind of give my thoughts and opinions because I feel like in my videos, I don't really share too many opinions about the game you know necessarily i'm kind of just giving you guys helpful videos so i just want to hop on and give you guys my thoughts i've been talking a lot with like jc you guys know probably on youtube talking a lot with him talking with a lot of other creators and just getting people's opinions and i feel like that's the main thing a lot of people don't like is that 60 percent 60 percent tax but like i said earlier let me know in the comment section down below what are your guys thoughts on the player market so far is it a good thing is it a bad thing but yeah just want to hop on give you guys my opinion and my thoughts but hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.